So to get to the KPI, you go to the upper right hand side and you click on these three lines that says Main Menu. Once here, you're going to go down to Performance Management. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the button on the upper right, I mean, pardon me, upper left, the one that says KPI. KPI, again, signifies Key Performance Indicator. Now these are all the different KPIs I have in my, in my current company. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a KPI up here. And now we choose the kind of key performance we want to keep our eye on, whether it's product, service plans, plan options, and so forth. So products, again, physical products, phones, uh, you know, any uh, cell phone case, any temper glass, anything. Service plan will be your activations and your phone payments. Your plan options, these are like your, um, your insurance on the phones. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a KPI and we're going to create a product. Now over here, the KPI, the Key Performance Indicator, we're going to choose whether we're selecting an employee or by location. So we'll do employee. And now it's going to ask us about the K. Now it's going to ask us to name it. <coughs> And that's the name we'll have for it. If you want to add a description, you can go ahead and add a description. Now, how we measure the key performance will be either to quantity, revenue, or profit. So quantity is amount sold. Revenue is the amount you, you net, while profit is, is after cost, your gross profit. So we'll select quantity. Now on the right, we select whether this will be calculated as net or gross. We'll choose gross. Now you select products. Now you, because we selected products, you're not going to choose the products that we're going to be keeping an eye on with our employees. And by default, we have them all. But for this lesson, we'll just do it on accessories. Now, if you look down here to the left-hand side of accessories, we click that little arrow, it'll expand for us. When it expands, we actually can see the categories that exist within the accessories department. Now, if I were to expand the, the, the category, I can even select individual items on this list. So over here, I have this waterproof Samsung Galaxy S4 case. Let's say I just wanted to do a key performance indicator on this one product, I can do so like this. So if, let's say you have an you know, iPhone 6 Otter Box that you're trying to keep your eye on or that you want to track and see how well you guys are selling or see if you're meeting up to goal, you can create a KPI using just that one case as your group. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we got our test KPI for the webinar. Go over to the right. And if I need to edit it, I just click on the edit button. 